Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make a love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel, especially to all the parents of my students, uh, the grade 8 uh, creativity, consideration, and carriage. Our lesson for today is solving system of linear equation by graphing math 8, and this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. Okay, so we have a quick review so from our previous lesson. So maybe you are familiar with some words here. For example, what is an equation? An equation um, uses an equal sign. All right, and like terms are just have the same variable and exponents. Parallel lines, those that never intercept or say have the same slope. Perpendicular lines no, um, is where a graph crosses the y-axis and the y-intercept is the, or sorry, uh, y-intercept is where a graph crosses the y-axis and per, uh, perpendicular lines intercept and slope is opposite, they're separate to each other. So I hope you remember, you remember it. Okay, next, let's have our lesson. Okay, now, what is a system of equation? Okay, so we have here, a system of equation is when you have two or more equations using the same variables. The solution to the system is the point that satisfies all the equation. This point will be ordered pair. Okay, so we call it ordered pair. When graphing, you will encounter three possibilities. Okay, first, we have the intersecting line. Okay, what is an inter intersecting line? Uh, probably, no, so you are already familiar with these two lines that cross each other, no? So the point where the lines intersect is your solution. Then, what is a solution of this line? So if you are going to... Uh, examine it closely no? uh, you can see that the point uh, points uh, to the coordinates of 1 and 2 so that means this point is the solution of this even set okay now let's move on to the next slide okay so we have here a parallel line This line never enter intersect, so they, they will never cross whatever happens. Since the lines never cross, there is no solution. Okay, next. Parallel lines of the same slope with different y intercepts, like this one. So we have here the same slope, but different uh, y intercepts. So the other is two and the other is one. Okay, so this this there are two different things actually. Okay. Next we have coincident line. Coinciding line, so that means these are two lines that co coincide with one another. Okay, so there there are uh, two lines there that becomes one. And that is unusual but it's true, you know. So these lines are the same, all right? And uh, since the lines are on the top of each other, there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, got that? All right. Now, coinciding lines have the same slope and the y-intercept, of course. Now, here. Okay, let's look for the this line. Okay. What is a solution of the system graph below? Okay, so if you answer A or number 1, you are correct. Okay, next. Let's have this one. Find the solution to the following system by graphing. So this one is easy. How are we going to do this? To find the solution, we must graph both equations. Alright, so I will first graph using X and Y intercept, plug in the zeros. 
and then I'll graph using the slope intercept form. You choose the one that you can more comfortable using. Of course, uh, you can use uh, any, but if you think it's more comfortable to use other method like this, so I usually use the y x and y intercept. Okay. variables cannot be uh, negative so just multiply it by negative one so we have y you know negative 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 is positive so that means uh, negative times positive then your answer is negative two so therefore your y is two no okay so let's have our uh, what if what if our y is zero so for y is zero we got going to grab this one okay okay so from our previous uh, slides no so we can use this graph here uh, okay so let's put this one this one this one
here. So this will be your one, two, three, and four. Okay. And on the other side, this will be your negative one. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, at the top is also positive one. So uh, for our solution and the previous one, we have okay, we'll use different colors um, to distinguish the color. So we have the first um, equation, or in the first equation we have zero and four. That means our On the next is on the second equation we have zero negative two. That means uh, our y is negative two since here is our point, it's like first point, and then two zero we have here on the second. So you can connect this part, right? Yeah. So we form an intersecting line. So that means our solution is zero or shall I say it is to zero because it's in the it's in the x axis so that means to zero okay so this is our solution so where do the lines intersect it's intersect in the one the x axis okay all right checking our result is here okay check all right next this Try this also by graphing. Okay, then you can do that in your book, and of course, you can move to the other. Okay, and then you try to do this. You know, if you are free, submit it on Tuesday, and uh, we will discuss the problems also. Okay, so remember, uh, graph what equation to the graph. journal number three write your reflection in your notebook life is not a linear you have ups and downs it's how you deal with the truths that defines you this is from michael lee chen bye everyone